What's up everyone, it's me the gamer 119 and I'm playing Craftopia for the first time on Xbox console. It just released today on February 2nd on uh, Game Pass actually. And it's a game preview game, so if there's any problems I experience, it's probably because of that. If you don't know what a game preview game is, it's just an incomplete game that uh, us gamers are just allowed to test early. It's like an early access type thing. Um, it kind of says, you know, right there, it's pre-release and all of a sudden stuff. Some features might not be available, might not work properly, game might crash, all the other stuff. Anyway, this is Craftopia. I actually, has, I actually have this on Steam. Uh, In-game settings, frequency, auto save, 5... Graphics, there's actually custom graphics, resolution, low specs, all this high specs. Let's play on 4K. Actually, I'm not going to record on 4K. I'm just going to keep it on 1280 just for now. Um, I can always enhance it later. Cause I am playing on my Series X, by the way, so I could enhance it later, but I did hear or read that some of the graphics changes don't really make a difference, I guess. Uh, high quality. Okay, apply. Uh, motion blur. Nah, camera shake, all the other stuff, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> if you guys haven't actually seen, oops, if you guys actually haven't seen anything about this game, pretty much it's like a weird Zelda, um, Zelda, Pokemon, Minecraft, Ark. It's it's a bunch of different types of games all in one. Uh, yeah, so let's create a character. All right, so let's get the, this body shape. Let's get this color. Face. What a. Oh, okay. So I guess the first four are on the more feminine side, and the last four are on the more masculine side. Oh, that face. Let's do that. That typical anime. Yeah, it's that typical anime. All right. Uh, let's go for that. Hair. Ooh, I like the banana. Okay, the bandana. It's the move for this playthrough. Alright, beer. Okay, so we got beards coming soon and face paint coming soon, so it's not actually in the preview just yet. Type, uh, you can actually do unknown typing? That's pretty interesting. I don't. I guess the sex is probably based on voice, maybe? Um, so we're just gonna go with man. The race. Okay, so you can be an elf and a demon coming soon, so that's some pretty interesting stuff. Right now, you can only be a human. Which is again perfectly fine with me. This is what our guy looks like. I wish you could like change the bandana color, uh, but I don't think you can. Either way, we're all good. Hopefully, they'll have more hairstyles because I would like some more uh, different hairstyles. It's very anime esque, which isn't a problem because this game was, I think, made in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, still, it would be better with more, I guess, different types of styles. Uh, anyway, uh, character name. Let's think of a character name. Um, since I'm just practicing this, we'll go with my basic name, the gamer. Great. All right, cool. Tips. Find it difficult to fight monsters. Oh wow. Now test complete. All hands. Cool. So we just exploded the earth. <laughs> I don't know if that was a nuke or what, but like we just destroyed. Oh, cool. I do remember this from Steam. It's obviously pretty interesting. The graphics aren't really the best. This thing is turning way too fast for my liking. Can't even press start. Okay. We swim, obviously. Okay, this thing is just turning way too fast. I'll have to fix that. Ooh, goddess lady. Welcome to Gamer. Do you remember Earth? It is the planet you destroyed. Oh, wow, okay, we destroyed the planet, which is dope. Oh, cool. <laughs> you don't remember? I see. That's to be expected, but you definitely destroyed it. Okay, well, I need some proof, lady. We knew that the destruction world uh, eventually happened in that... Wait, we knew that the destruction would eventually happen in that world line. Mankind raised fire, cleared the forest, developed industries, and prospered. You destroyed it. Okay, well... Apparently, whatever she says goes. <laughs> but the great god Krail decided to grant another chance to mankind and to you. Dope. Don't know who that person is. You shall be the first of mankind and lead this new world, Craftopia, down the righteous path. <clears throat> By the way, this game is crossplay on Windows 10. 
Oh wait, you shall vanquish the dragons, equip yourself with legendary weapons, and build great monuments that can be seen from any part of this world. By that time, you shall know the, the secret hidden in this world. Um, yeah, so it's crossplay between uh, the normal Xbox One and Xbox Series. The game with Craftopia, you get to start it all over again. And with the Windows 10 one as well. May you be blessed with hope in this new world. Oh, thanks. Alright, so like, can I? No, still can't press start. Uh, there are no worlds. Oh, let's create a world. Yeah, sure. Um, we'll call this uh, Polycore. <laughs> so original, right, guys? You can set the game difficulty. Enjoy to play this game with ease without frustration. Normal to explore the world and enjoy it. Yeah, we don't play on normal. That's, that's how we're going to do things. Uh, the difficulty settings can be changed anytime the single player is saved separately from the world, and multiple the difficulty settings of the server will be applied to the game. This setting will affect the maximum life and status of enemies. Rewards and drops items will not be affected by this setting. Dope. Alright, so let's enter our polycore world that we just created. Yeah, so this is the brand new survival world, uh, survival game that just came out on Xbox uh, Game Pass, like I said earlier. Um, it does have some bugs here and there. I think it's still in early access on Steam as well. It's been out for a year. Introduction. Welcome to the world of Craftopia. The planet you have lived on got destroyed. It is time to start over civilization here. In this world, you can craft various items. Let's hit trees and stones to get the materials for the workbench to craft. As you progress ages, uh, more and more items will be available to you to, uh, for you to craft. Other Offer items in an altar of civilization to progress in error and craft more powerful and conventional items. Oh boy! All right. The materials you can gather on this very first island are limited. You can go, uh, exp you can go exploration with an altar of transportation. Let's move on to more challenging items to collect items, uh, islands to collect items. There's a variety of fields with different environments, such as a volca uh, volcanic mountain or snowy mountain in the world of Craftopia. Before proceeding to the challenge, let's progress ages and prepare stronger equipment. All right, so this is the beginning. There we go. Now I can press start. So this is what the uh, not the HUD looks like, but like the crafting menu looks like. So inventory, got your equipment, got your build, usable items, material, crafting. So right off the bat we can do, what is that, um, a spear? Uh, what, what is this? Does the name change at all? Oh yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so wooden stick. We got stone pickaxe, stone, uh, or yeah, stone pickaxe, wooden axe, two-handed torch, uh, branch arrow, workbench, altar civilization. Um, which can help us progress to new uh, eras, I guess, or ages. We have walls, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. Dope. And I guess we don't have floors, or is the... Yeah, I don't think we have floors. <laughs> and our missions. So I guess if we... Can we cleanse some stuff? Alright, so I guess if you go to missions, it immediately gives you everything. Ooh, what's this? So this is coming soon. I don't know what any of that stuff means. But... And we have sub. Oh, so, oh main, okay. Main missions and submissions. So these are submissions. Sweet. All right. So check the mission. The mission screen. So I got three stone for that. Receive award by completing all missions of a mission category. So that's how we get that, and that's all this extra stuff. Uh, skills. There are skills that you can do. So basic skills: combat, magic, living, and trick. You can play that. That's pretty dope. And tamer. Um, what do I lock tamer? Huh. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I don't think we have any skill points. Yeah, I don't have any skill points. And then there's a picture book. Which, I believe, offer and... I don't know how to really do the picture book. Let's see. Oh, you just, okay, you just collect the items or, kill, I guess, kill the enemy or whatever. And that's how you can fill this up. I actually do like that. I, I was always a fan of galleries. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, so yes, this is my inventory. There's a lot of customization options, which is pretty dope. Display, yes, always oh, display. And we start off with 1,000 gold, I guess. That's the currency. So yeah. Alright, cool. We got some experience, plus two to walk. I still don't like... Alright, cool, select for that. Key assignments. No, that's fine. Uh, graphics. I don't like the way it turns. Like the, the the turning is way too fast. Sensitivity. All right, there we go. Right stick sensitivity. Apply. 
There we go. I might actually increase that a little bit more. Sorry, guys. Right, I'm perfectly fine with this. Alright, cool. So, yes, there are like little NPC things. Uh, level 3 people. Uh, hey, there we go. Level 1. Tutorial Old Man. Press R2 to beat trees and stones to make tools you can craft. Yeah, so this is like little tutorial people here, which I, I'm gonna just say that they're from your actual world. Oh, wait, looking up down. Alright, open. Let's see what we got in this chest. Oh, we got some red herbs. That's cool. Let's see what that does. What's it? Right. Usable items. Alright. Red herbs is a material used for life potions. You can create potions at a potion mixing facility, which we don't actually have yet. Can we, oh, okay, we can't fight the bird yet. <laughs> I was just gonna deck that bird. Alright, no barrels. Alright, so let's see what's on this island. We got chickens. Hi, chicken. Oh, okay. Let's start punching things. Alright, so. Uh, this is very similar to like another game. I don't remember exactly what it was. We just keep punching this. Am I losing life for this? I don't think so. So you don't actually lose health for actually punching these items. I'm just trying to get like at least 10 logs. Uh, I got 8 so far. As you can see in the top right hand corner, there's like some missions. Like it shows all the slide missions. Jump, I get that. Uh, let's run. Cool, got that. Climb a wall. Let's climb. Can we climb this or will I just run? Uh, how do I climb? How do I oh, wait. Alright, I think climbing is L2. Oh, look at this. Not L2. L, um, Lustic. Level 2. Alright. How to play 1. Movement has been completed, guys. Let's go. Ooh, oars. That's pretty dope. So, yeah, this game def does have some visual challenges, as you guys can see. Um. Definitely don't take that to heart. Um, threshold, let's lower that. I think the threshold is actually kind of ridiculous. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, just don't take that to heart. It is, ooh, one stick's good. It is, again, in game preview. Be mindful of that. There's going to be definitely some limitations on this game. And I know other game preview games aren't like this. Like, Arsenal of the Evolve, for example, looks better than this game. And obviously, it would probably be a more superior survival game. There is stamina. Oh, good. Look at that flimsiness. But again, you know, different creators, different studios. Just give it a chance. Um, I don't like the fact that it still tells me to click keyboard keys, although I'm playing on console. Uh, like, click P. I don't have a P on this controller. Or do I? Alright, so let's let's do some crafting. Let's uh we already got some wooden sticks. Um so we need stone for this. Do we just need stone for a stone oh a stone pickaxe, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's craft. Alright, cool, so we got a stone pickaxe. Oh, press right on the D-pad and get a map. What about up on D-pad? Alright, up on D-pad, uh spots thing. Down on D-pad goes through your little uh hot bars. You have three hot bars. Left on D-pad does nothing. What about RB? RB circulates through your, uh, and LB does too, through your, um, D-pad, or not your D-pad, your <coughs> hot bar. Uh, LT does nothing, RT fights. Yeah, okay, let's, can I, how do I select this? Alright, Y, that's how, okay. Yeah, okay, Y goes through each, nice. Hit these barrels. Oh, ooh, got some salt, nice. Get some stone here. Nice, level three. Oh, apparently I learned a skill, so let's hold Y. Wait, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. I think hold Y is repairing, maybe? Because I think you have to repair your tools. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's get some ore. Ooh, okay, this needs to be a two star to actually hit the ore. Alright, sheep, sorry. Oh, it just hit me! Get over here! Freaking sheep. Alright, I got some animal flesh and some sheep wool. Which is pretty dope. Alright. Let's go ahead and look at these guys. Alright, and this is a level 3. Oh, wait. Why are they now in order? 
Oh no, they're, no, they're not. Wait, that looked weird. All right, whatever. Um, do, 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 do. level one guy, level three people. Press X to collect items. So okay. Well. All right, you. Let's have it works. Okay, technically speaking, you don't necessarily need to speak to these people. It's just like tutorial phase. I guess it is suggested that you can. But anyway, let's uh, let's press this. We got some nice items here. Let's see. Let's get. Let's craft a wooden axe. Nice. I wonder how you access your quick bar. Can you actually go? Can you access it from here? Yeah, you can. Is there an easier way to go through all of this without having to? Multi-select? Oh, okay, the multi-select. So I wanna... Alright, switch area. Okay, so it's, it's that. Okay, right on the R-stick or left on the R-stick. Alright, sweet. Uh... How do I switch hotkey page? Oh, okay. How do I... T oh, okay, cool. I pick it up and press B. Let's put you over here. Put you over here. Animal flesh, sheep's raw food, raw meat. Tempting to eat immediately, but you would want to cook it first. Alright, so you do have to cook in this game. That's pretty good. And salt is a good ingredient. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Oops. Oh, that's, that's a nice green aura. Oh, I need some straw to make that. And what is this? A branch arrow? Alright. We got the workbench there. We should get a couple more logs and then make the workbench. Oh, what are these? Some, alright, uh, mono. I'm not a fan of monos. Oh, they, they spin weird. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Get over here. <laughs> alright, so they give you eggs. That's interesting. Alright, so let's let's get some more eggs. Probably a lot easier to kill these than chicken. Ah, okay, they also attack you, but it did not like no damage to me. Oh right, that was a level two. Okay. Yo, I feel so bad hitting these guys. Oh my god. Ooh, that's a cow. Alright, so this is a it's a quite a bit of different creatures here. Red herbs, level four now. Let's get some more oh wild wild seed of red herbs? That's pretty good. Oh, there we go, another one. Hey got me a copper bow, bone and leather. That's pretty good. No, don't fight me please. <laughs> Are you the one I hit? Yeah. Ow, you just freaking die. There we go. Alright. Let me get that egg. And let me equip that bow here. Oops. Oh. All right. Um, is it right on D-pad? No, it's not. It's. I already forgot. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, I have no arrows. Yeah. So I have to make the wooden arrows. Which is probably a lot better to actually fight the um. Ooh, mushrooms. To fight like. Uh, chickens and stuff like that. Oh, there's deer, cows. We're gonna go on a more exploration uh, path here. Let's climb. Oh, uh, can I not climb? Oh, what's this? Alright, got some walls, copper ore. Black tailed gull. I think that's a bird. Anyway, this is the altar of transportation, so this will take you to a brand new island. Ooh, look at that. Um, I think the island, I think the islands are random. So, like, normally, oh, it's a bear here. Alright, so yeah, I kind of figured this. This island's the starting island for, I think, every single game. Uh, it gives you, like, basic stuff like wood, stone, basic animals and stuff like that. Basic survival ne uh, necessities. Um, I don't think this is strong enough for that. And I don't think it's showing yeah, it's not. Dang, wow. So yeah, so basic survival ne uh, necessities and stuff. Um, you do have to be cautious, though, because I do remember going to that bear. I think that bear killed me. 
But I don't know what that thing is. I'm just gonna go to it for the sake of the video. Copper ingots and sheep wool. I really don't remember how to climb. <laughs> Damn, that bear is right there. Better. This bear is aggressive, by the way. There are aggressive uh, creatures, I guess I can say. I would normally say that. Oh, there's a fox here. Yeah. yeah, there are aggressive creatures, there are passive creatures, and then there are fleeing creatures. Escaping trial. Level 5. Alright, so... I believe these are like trial areas? I don't remember them fully, but we'll go through them anyway. Fan the receptionist. A trial of escape if you're able if you're able to escape, Krill the God shall approve you. Oh, okay. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna take a look at this. I know this is on the basic island. Um uh, Oh, okay. Do you climb, I guess? Alright, so I highly suggest not doing this since you have, like, more stamina. Uh, let me see, is there, like, a way for me to boost up my skills? Alright, yeah, this is leveling up stuff. Alright, so dodge action. I can get some dodging in there. Some combat action. Slash, ironclad. Uh, we'll go with a dodge action real fast level up and then like you unlock a bunch of other things to get there how do i get there oh i was doing it all right cool it's just the tears so i can do a collector when you defeat an enemy the enemy may drop additional items there's a bunch of different things you can do up to tier five combat goes up to tier five so i think all these go up to tier five yeah which is pretty dope i don't know what's the highest level you could possibly go in this um, game Let's go to the picture book. See if I got anything. Another log. Wait, what? How do I offer item? Okay, so if you offer item to increase your stats, what? How does that work? Number of items you offered. So wait, if you offer a thousand, do you increase your stats from that? That's pretty like a tribute. Offer item. Uh. I guess I'll offer all of it. Oh no, okay, I just have, oh, I only offered one. Alright, cool. So if you offered, you actually also get to have the actual image, which I think is pretty neat. Um, I guess there's rarities too. That's interesting. I don't know what the rarities are based off of. Crops. That's actually pretty fun. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but this game does go up to eight people. I don't know if that's on Steam only, or I don't know if that's both on Steam and. Uh, Microsoft, I'm just gonna say Microsoft for Windows 10 and Xbox, but I know on Xbox, or I guess Microsoft, I literally just said Xbox, but I know on Microsoft it is eight people. Oh god, I'm on top of the bear. You're not aggressive, right, buddy? Oh, <gasps> you're fast. And I also don't have. Oh god, okay. No, I'm sluggish. Eh. I don't know how this freaking climbing works in this game. Yeah, because I could have sworn you can actually climb, which is really weird. I don't know if that was literally just me or what, but I could have sworn you can actually climb in this game. But it's whatever. So let me utilize the transportation real fast. Uh, actually, before I do that. Uh, mission claim awards. Alright, sweet. We got some rewards, some logs, some skill points, claim more rewards. Oh, no. How do I get to the next one? Oops. Got skill point. I think that's it. So if I go to skills, I should, yeah, I have six now. Alright, cool. Um, let's do trick. Let's, uh, let's learn play dead. <laughs> Dash forward by pressing the crouch, and we'll also learn aerial. I realize I haven't even learned how to crouch. Oh, 
Oh, we have dodge roll. Look at that. How do I play dead? No, no, I don't want that. Alright, let's see. How do I play dead? Alright, you will not be able to move for a certain period of time, but you... Uh, but you won't be attacked by enemies, and your life and mana will gradually heal. That's cool and all. Oh, okay, okay so that's a skill you have to actually put in your hotkey. Alright, how do I put in my hotkey? Oh, okay, just press it. Alright, we'll put our, we'll put our skills here. Dash forward by pressing the crouch button mid-air. Alright, so I guess the square is actually hotkeys. The circles, I think, are pa- Okay, yeah, it says it right there, actually. Active skill, command skill, and passive skill. Okay, so. The aerial dash forward by pressing the crouch button mid-air. Alright, let's try that. Let's, let's try that. Oh, let's go! I think that uses- What does that use? That's, that's a giant bear. It's the same bear. <laughs> I need mean, to know this. Oh, a chest. Right, I got some red herbs. I don't know what- Oh, okay, this is what, stamina? Uh, food consumption? I don't really know where it says I actually need to eat in this game. But, oh, nope, that's, that's definitely not the same bear. Not the same bear. Okay. There's the auto save going on. Alright, let's go back to the beach. Probably a lot safer there. Uh, let's also utilize this. Dead. <laughs> oh yeah, so I am uh, gaining magic and health and stuff like that. Alright, cool. Oh, wow, you can't use play dead for a very long time afterwards. I think that's the point of leveling up your skills, though. Bread and a glider. Alright, so we got a glider now. This is pretty dope. Um... Alright, let's see how to use the glider. Oh. Alright, double tap A. Alright, so I equipped it, and I just need to double, uh, double tap A. What else here? Alright, so yeah, I definitely think if you're going to try out this game, it's definitely worth going throughout the island. And, like, collecting all, the, like, the chests and stuff like that. And getting as much resources as possible, really, like, learning the game before moving on to, like, a different world entirely. Unlike what I'm about to do, because I'm about to check out another world. I do believe that when I do go to the next world, I will recognize it if I actually played uh, that world before. Because I did go to a different world on my Steam account. Oh, that's new. Oh, alright, the glider is a bit hard to control. Dungeon of Island. Alright, interesting. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, I do believe every single island has a dungeon. And this is this island's dungeon. Which you can go through this, you know, collect chests and stuff. Um, this is the part of like the, the Zelda, I guess, part of the game. So there are enemies, uh, you can fight. I'm gonna fight them with my mighty staff. And no, that's not an innuendo. <laughs> I don't know what level these guys are. Level 3, level 6, and... Oh, they burn. Cool. Oh, level 7. That's not fun. <laughs> Alright. This is when, like, skills are really important. And maybe even potentially a bow. Because <laughs> I have a bow, I just didn't make arrows for it. And I don't know if they actually use their shields either. Yes, go near your fire. Go near the fire, please. Yes. Yes, spread the fire. It was not to me. <laughs> Alright, that's one death. That's about to be two deaths. Oh, what? It didn't die? Alright, potato seed, talent, and a fang. Oh, I guess they utilized all of the... Oh, wow, that's a lot of health I lost. Alright, so I'm losing a lot more health than I'm comfortable with. Ow, I have 54 health left. Let me see, can I eat this? Um, 
Oh yeah, cool, I can eat the egg, bro. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> I keep forgetting how to like a dodge roll. Come on. Oh god, we're okay. We're about to die. But I might be Yeah, there we go. Level 7 killed it. Corn seed and fang. So it's really good to get seeds, because again you can like when you're I guess ready to settle down on an island and stuff, you can actually build. I got seed jelly. Cool. You can actually build. You know? Build farms, build villages and stuff. Oh they see they, do they keep spawning? Oh, because I leveled up. All right, so I, I instantly heal. I'm guessing I also restore my mana. I don't have. To, I don't actually have ma uh, magic to test that out. And I guess these guys you can just you farm as well if you want to. I don't know if we got experience for that, but we're gonna head out. Continue this dungeon. Oh, no, can you actually break this like Skyrim? You can. All right, that is really good to know. Get some nice items in this dungeon: cooking oil, vinegar, pepper. Good cooking items right there. Let's see, is there... Oh, what's this? Can you collect this? I don't think you can collect this. I don't even know if you can burn yourself, to be honest. I'm really curious about that. Man, I'm running around this place without any armor. <laughs> Alright, can we break these barrels? Yes, you can break these barrels. Let's see what's inside these barrels. More cooking items. Alright, so cooking items are definitely important, obviously. Uh, they help with uh your health and i'm guessing your mana but i wonder if it's like monster hunter where like you can also get special effects from cooking or not cooking but like eating i guess that's just like basic rpg elements to be honest not just monster hunter that was like the first game that came to my mind though all right we're gonna i don't know why that chest is open but we're just gonna continue wait did i come from here no right or did i I might have already came from that area, so we're just gonna go this way. Yeah, I think I just got turned around. Alright, yes, yeah, so this place doesn't seem familiar. Alright, so let's keep going up here. Alright, there's two chests right there. Now I know for a fact I have never been here. Oh, got another glider. Got some sulfur. A giant table, can I steal you? Can I actually break you? No, I can't. Alright, so those are some new enemies that are coming, or at least I only think one of them are coming after. There's like four of them here. Five? I think I see five. Yeah, I think I see five. What level are they? Four, that's not bad. If I can get to that fire, I should be good. Alright, so, let's see. I wish there was like an auto lock. Not really an auto lock feature, but like a. Uh, yeah, like a locking feature. I really wish there was a locking feature in this game. But as you guys can see, there's not. <laughs> Hitting him with my freaking axe. Alright, so when they go poof poof, that's when I'll get the items. I wonder if there's a heavy move. I don't think so. There we go, level 8. Don't even matter, got full health. Let's go. Alright, leather. I guess some of them actually might have died here, because... Wait, what? Turn off. Oh, turn that off. Cool. Um, what else we got going on? That looks very ominous, I'm not going <laughs> Get hit. Get hit. There we go. Alright, cool. So I killed all of them here. Let's... I'm hoping that they don't actually start respawning until you kill the already spawned set. I'm hoping about that, I'm not really going to test it out right now. We're just going to continue heading out of this dungeon. I think the door just opened after I killed everyone here. And hey, there's a lady. Victoria woman. Hi. Yeah, look. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, I thought I actually had to fight a boss. I'm like, yo, hold on. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, actually, I might actually have to fight a boss. Yep, we get a boss battle. Alright, let's go. What level are you, Mr. Boss? 
Oh. I do know the dodge action! <laughs> Ow! Uh, that literally did nothing! <laughs> what? Level, level 13? Oh my gosh, alright, so. Oh, that was. I, honestly, I've been playing Genshin Impact. Uh, not recently, but I have played Genshin Impact. And I was wondering if it was gonna spin. This actually reminds me of the boss from Genshin Impact. Cool. Eh. Eh. What if I use a stone pickaxe? What would that do? Excuse me, out of stone. That'll hopefully work. Better. Eh. <laughs> Listen, I don't even think. Okay. Oh god, okay, okay, ow. Wait, I think I'm on top of it. Yeah, it's not even doing damage to me. I'm actually- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just hope it just stays here. Don't kick me off, Oh, Oh, that did so much damage to its core. All right, I gotta, I gotta have it do that again. Let's at least eat that. Can I eat anything else? Gotta guess now. Oh, okay. The mushrooms give you a lot of health. That's good to have them. All right, so I can fill this. Why can I? Oh, <gasps> wait, no, no. Wait, what just happened? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. All right. So if it does a spinning attack, it will. You can gain access to its core. Which is good to know. Oh wow, actually, I can't believe I'm gonna actually... <gasps> can't believe I'm actually gonna uh, beat this guy. Let's go! Oh, it's up there. It's kind of cheating. Come on, come on. Dang it. Alright. It's almost dead, guys. It's almost dead. That's actually pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. I am back. Sorry, but I had a call. I didn't know what that was for, to be honest. Oh god, okay. Do I have it in my- yeah, I do. I don't know- Oh, I guess there's another seed, so LT technically- okay. So I wonder if you can just equip three things. That's what I'm guessing. Because then the bottom right hand corner is like, my, uh, my pickaxe, I guess the seeds. And I guess can you equip another thing? Maybe a melee item? Oh, no. no I don't, I'm not seeing. Alright, here we go, here we go. Am I crouched? <laughs> can you please get off of that pillar? <laughs> Jesus. Get off the pillar! Oh, unless it's stuck at the pillar, could, that could be it. Oh, I thought- oh, okay. Yay! Yes! There we go! And we killed the boss. Oh, achievement unlocked, too. No pickaxes needed. Defend an ancient golem for the first time. Oh, defeat an ancient golem for the first time. Alright, cool. We actually beat the boss in record-breaking time. And by record-breaking, I mean, like, this video is actually a pretty- Decent video length. <laughs> Alright, what is, what, is, what is all this? I can open this? Well, somewhat a clear dungeon or the ordeal. I want to open this one. Ooh, I got a machete. Alright. Ooh, I got an iron shield. Alright, got a... Ooh, a cookery. Cookery. That's the old copper coins. And one-handed torch. All right, so that was literally all the. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Obviously, if you know, uh, you play this multiplayer. If you played with other people, uh, I guess some people can go to the dungeon, and then it would be like, hey, someone cleared the island dungeon or whatever, um, and then you can guys can come back. What is that, beers? I I think you can always go back in it. Uh, I don't really know if there's like 
anything that like indicates if the island dungeon has been cleared or not. I actually wonder. I wonder if you actually have to clear the island dungeon before you can travel to the next world. Oh, I actually didn't notice that until just now. I think okay, I think that's your respawn zone actually. What are those cows just dropping? Oh my gosh, they are. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use the altar transportation. Alright, so I guess these are all the islands potentially. And you just keep going from island to island to island. So I guess the closest thing we would okay, you would have to offer this. 100 gold and wood. So let's get some wood. I always do that. But yeah, overall, this game's in, this game isn't too bad. I actually managed to record for about 40 something minutes before. Uh, actually, I didn't even get kicked out yet. It's pretty good. Hopefully, I don't get kicked out. To be honest, <laughs> as I'm hoping. But this game has not crashed. I guess my food is at 125 consumption. Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. All right. So now I have enough. I'm going to go to the right island of Big. Or island of Big Bridge one, so island level is uh one. Okay, let's go here. Island level zero, all right, and then enemy level is one. So when you go here, enemy level goes up to eight. So obviously, recommended level for you would be like eight, seven ish or whatever. I can destroy the island. <coughs> all the data including the architecture will be deleted. Are you sure of deleting the uh, deleting it? Wow, you can actually destroy the island. That's kind of savage. But it requires, uh, I guess, a button of mass destruction. <laughs> so yeah, the further you actually go out, so I guess it'll all have to connect to the island here, and that's only wood, but I guess the further you go out, so like for example here, you need more wood and then an iron ingot, or a silver ingot. I think that's iron, actually. Uh, but yeah, let's travel, why not? The island of Bridge 1. But yeah, there's so many, there's so much more to do in this game. Uh, like I know if you watch the trailer, oh, that's a dungeon, I think. This island's dungeon, yeah. Uh, I think if you watch the trailer, you can actually like capture different creatures and stuff. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to get that far with just this uh, little beginning playthrough. But yeah, I this island is definitely a lot bigger. I highly suggest people ch uh, check this game out. It's free, so like there's no harm in doing so if you have Game Pass. Uh, if you don't have Game Pass and you're on Steam, um, or you just don't have Game Pass period on like any of the Microsoft uh, availability things, I don't want to say consoles, but you know what I'm saying, uh, systems, then I guess really, really think hard if you want to get a game preview game. Because, again, game preview games aren't really for everyone ah they're not really for everyone um i don't mind game preview games i played atlas arc survival evolve i bought those two games um i played vigor i think that was actually a free game preview game though and i played pix arc trial which i wasn't really a fan of but um i am somewhat of a fan of this i suppose i definitely want to try this out with friends i know since uh, most of my friends do have game pass i'll be playing with them I might go ahead and do another video on this with other people and back on the um, basic island just to show you guys exactly what we can do. Oh, NPCs. Smith the Merchant. Alright, cool. So this is where the gold also comes into play. Um, I don't know if I should... Yeah, my balance is 750 gold. I did complete a dungeon and all the other stuff. Uh, no, wait, no. That's actually not why I should have 700 in. No, no, I have 900. I'm sorry. It's all in the bottom. Because I just spent 100 gold. I don't know how you get gold, actually. But obviously there are NPCs you can buy f uh, stuff from. Which is pretty good. I don't know if you can sell things. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like you can sell anything. A bastard sword. <laughs> wow. Great sword of the demon. Oh, it would be great if you could like... Oh, but well, you can. Uh, I really wish there was like a, a bigger way for me to see what it looks like. Uh, but let's see. Ooh, I got a isifying machete. An isifying? What does that mean? Alright, well, let's actually put that here. 
Um, do, 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 do. let's put the shield here. Oh god, he's just pushing the out with that guy. Alright. Got my machete out, let's, let's kill some things, right? Let's do some damage. Let's fight those guys up there. But yeah, if you're not really into game PvP, then don't suggest testing this out. Ooh, ooh, look at that machete. Oh, get here, get back here, goblin kid. Oh, it just hit me. A goblin shaman. Level 10. So overall, I, again, definitely suggest playing some friends. Sorry about that guys, um, not only did I get like a phone call, but also I found out that my computer ran out of space. So I actually couldn't uh, conclude the episode properly. But anyway, um, all I was going to say was if you guys are not really into like getting the game uh, in game preview and if you don't have game pass and stuff like that, um, I highly suggest trying to find a group of friends that would be interested in playing with you and testing that out with them maybe they're willing to buy it for you or you're willing to actually test out the trial there's a trial yeah go ahead and do that that'll probably be your best bet but again uh there's always different experiences with the with these type of games uh when they do offer multiplayer and co-op and stuff like that so i definitely suggest if you're not really into solo survival games go ahead and play with your friends i don't know if the trial offers that it should because it's a game preview and i think they give you like an hour limit so go ahead and do that um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the, uh, the channel, click that notification bell, and thank you so much for stopping by and looking at our uh, first hands-on of Craftopia. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.